So what if everything you've been told about heart disease was incomplete? While cardiovascular disease claims 18 million lives annually, and doctors continue prescribing statins to over 75 million Americans, heart attack rates haven't really improved. Today, I'm sharing three evidence-based solutions that target the root cause of arterial disease. The reason these numbers aren't improving is very simple. The standard approach to treating atherosclerosis is fundamentally flawed. I'm going to share three powerful solutions that address the real cause of arterial disease. What I'm about to share isn't theory, it's backed by research and real clinical results. So please like, comment, and share this video with someone you care for. And please don't forget to throw a buck or two my way to continue giving you a full protocol to heal. So before we get into the solutions, you need to understand why traditional treatments often fail. Here's the truth about the cholesterol theory. One, historical misconception. 1930s, researchers found cholesterol in arterial plaques. They assumed cholesterol was the cause made a critical error in their research, ignored other crucial factors. Two, the real problem is not about cholesterol, it's about inflammation, it's about arterial damage, it's about cellular repair gone wrong. Three, why statins disappoint? Well, focus on wrong target, ignore root cause, create new problems, miss key healing factors. So let's look at what really happens in your artery. Initial damage phase, inflammatory triggers, endothelial injury, immune response, cellular stress. Two, progression, inflammatory cascade, calcium accumulation, plaque formation, arterial stiffness. Three, critical factors, oxidative stress, mineral imbalances, immune dysfunction, cellular repair capacity. So the first and most crucial solution is the inflammation master protocol. You see, chronic inflammation isn't just a symptom, it's the primary trigger for arterial disease. Here's what makes this protocol so effective. So we start your day on an empty stomach with a powerful combination of nanocurcumin at 500 milligrams, combined with 100 milligrams of pine bark extract. Now, along with these, we'll add a specialized enzyme complex, including narokinase at 4,000 fibrin unit, serapeptase at 120,000 SPU, and lumbrokinase at 20 minutes. So the timing here is crucial. Take this stack 30 minutes before breakfast for maximum absorption. So as we move into midday, We'll introduce a second dose of curcumin at 500 milligrams paired with our systemic enzyme blend. The key here is to take this combination about two hours after lunch, when your digestive system is most receptive. For your evening protocol, we'll complete the day with a final 500 milligrams of curcumin, but this time we're adding 500 milligrams of transresveratrol, taken just before dinner to maximize its anti-inflammatory effects. So the beauty of this protocol lies in its mechanism of action. What we're seeing in clinical studies is fascinating. These compounds work synergistically to reduce inflammatory cytokines, essentially calming down your body's overactive immune response. They're not just masking inflammation, they're actively repairing vessel damage while preventing further injury to your arterial walls. The clinical results speak for themselves. Patients following this protocol consistently show a 40% reduction in inflammatory markers within the first 60 days. But it's not just about numbers on lab report. We are seeing remarkable improvements in arterial flexibility, significantly better blood flow, and perhaps most importantly, enhanced endothelial function. So this means your arteries aren't just less inflamed, they're actually becoming healthier and more resilient. So what makes this protocol different from traditional approaches is its comprehensive targeting of the inflammatory cascade. 
rather than just suppressing symptoms, we're addressing the root cause of arterial inflammation at multiple levels. Think of it as not just putting out the fire, but also rebuilding and fireproofing the house. Now your second breakthrough solution, the arterial repair system. This isn't just about actively rebuilding and strengthening your arterial walls. Think of this as a construction project where not just patching holes, but completely renovating your arterial infrastructure. So we start the day with our precisely calibrated morning mineral transport stack. Here's where timing becomes critical. You'll take 200 milligrams of magnesium chloride paired with 3000 micrograms of K2 MK7 with one quarter teaspoon of MCT oil. This combination is crucial because K2 acts like a traffic director, ensuring calcium goes to your bones instead of your arteries. We'll add vitamin D3 at a dose between 5,000 to 10,000 IU, depending on your body weight. This isn't a one size fits all approach. Now to complete this morning stack, we include 15 milligrams of zinc paired with two milligrams of copper, maintaining the crucial mineral balance your arteries need to repair. Now moving into the afternoon, we shift to a different form of magnesium, 200 milligrams of magnesium glycinate, which offers better absorption during this time of the day. Then we add 10 milligrams of boron, a trace mineral that's often overlooked, but crucial for arterial health, along with an additional 100 micrograms of K2 to maintain steady levels throughout the day. For your evening protocol, we transition to 200 milligrams of magnesium torate specifically chosen for its heart supportive properties, plus a final 300 microgram dose of K2 to maintain 24 hour coverage. Now here's where it gets really interesting. We layer in our vessel strengthening protocol throughout the day. This includes 1000 milligrams of high absorption vitamin C taken three times daily, combined with 500 milligrams each of lysine and proline twice daily. Now this combination works like scaffolding for your arterial walls, providing the raw materials needed to repair and strengthening. Now to supercharge this entire process, we implement specific cellular support nutrients. Think of coenzyme Q10 at 300 milligrams daily and PQQ at 20 milligrams daily as your arterial energy power plants. These compounds don't just support your arteries, they literally enhance your cell's ability to produce energy, which is crucial for the repair process. We're essentially turning up your body's natural repair mechanisms to their optimal levels. Now, what makes this protocol exceptional is its precise implementation. Each component has been carefully selected and timed to maximize your body's natural healing processes. This isn't guesswork or a shotgun approach. It's a scientifically calibrated system designed to trigger a specific biological mechanism that support arterial repair and regeneration. The results we're seeing in patients following this exact protocols are nothing short of remarkable. So let's move on to our third and final solution, the flow enhancement method. This is where we take your arterial health to the next level by optimizing blood flow and vessel function. What's fascinating about this approach is how it leverages your body's natural nitric oxide production to create lasting improvements in circulation. So we begin each morning with a powerful combination of 500 milligrams of nitrate and 500 milligrams of hawthorn. These compounds work together to jumpstart your nitric oxide production, essentially opening up your arteries to improve blood flow first thing in the day. And the timing here is very crucial. Take this combination on an empty stomach for maximum absorption and effectiveness. So as we move into the afternoon, we introduce a specialized trio of extracts that work synergistically. 100 milligrams of pine bark extract, 500 milligrams of pomegranate extract, and 300 milligrams of grapeseed extract. Now this combination doesn't just maintain the benefits from your morning protocol, it actively enhances your body's natural circulation processes throughout the day. So each of these compounds 
bring unique properties that support and protect your endothelial cells, the crucial inner lining of your blood vessel. Now, for the evening protocol, we add 1000 milligrams of nitrate paired with a final 500 milligram dose of Hawthorne. This evening combination helps maintain optimal blood flow while you sleep. So when your body does most of its repair work, the higher dose of nitrate at this time is actually specifically chosen to support your body's natural regenerative processes during resting. These carefully selected compounds don't just work independently, they create a comprehensive approach to blood flow optimization. So we're targeting multiple aspects of circulation, supporting a proper vessel dilation, strengthening endothelial function, and enhancing microcirculation throughout your entire cardiovascular system. The precision of this protocol lies in its timing and synergy. So each compound builds upon the effects of the others, creating a sustained improvement in blood flow and vessel function throughout your entire day. The results we're seeing with patients following this exact protocol include improved energy, better exercise tolerance, and enhanced overall cardiovascular function. Now, now, let me walk you through exactly how to actually implement this protocol for maximum results. So we're going to break this down into three distinct phases, each designed to build upon the previous one. During weeks one and two, we'll focus on establishing your foundation. We'll start with basic anti-inflammatory compounds, gradually introducing the mineral protocol, then begin your nitric oxide support. Now, this gentle introduction allows your body to adapt while we carefully monitor your response. So think of it as laying the groundwork for everything that follows. Moving into weeks three and four, we enter what I call the enhancement phase. So this is where we ramp up to the full anti-inflammatory protocol. Implement the complete mineral system and introduce advanced flow support compounds. Now during this phase, you'll likely start noticing significant improvements in how you feel, but while track everything systemically to ensure, of course, optimal progress. Now from weeks five to 12 represent we, our optimization phase where we uh, fine tune everything based on your individual response. We'll implement the maximum protocol while making careful adjustments based on your body signals and regular testing results. This isn't about blindly following a protocol, it's about customizing it to your specific needs and of course responses. Now let's talk about how we track your progress because this is absolutely crucial for success. Every day you'll monitor four key markers, your blood pressure, heart rate, energy levels, and exercise capacity. These daily measurements tell us how your body is responding in real time. Weekly tracking becomes more comprehensive. We'll record your weight, take key measurements, assess your sleep quality, and evaluate your activity tolerance. So this gives us a broader picture of your progress. Monthly assessments are where we really dive deep. We'll look at your inflammatory markers through blood work. Uh, evaluate your lipid panel, measure arterial stiffness, and assess your overall well-being. Now, with these comprehensive monthly evaluation allows us to make precise adjustments to your protocol, ensuring you're always moving toward optimal cardiovascular health. So the key to success with this protocol lies in this systematic approach to implementation and, of course, monitoring. By tracking these specific markers at different intervals, we can fine tune your protocol for maximum effectiveness while ensuring safely and optimal results. So let me explain exactly what you can expect on this journey of arterial health improvement. During your first 30 days, you'll likely notice several encouraging changes. Patients report a noticeable reduction in inflammation markers accompanied by improved energy levels. You'll typically experience better circulation. Many patients notice a warmer hands and feet, and you'll find yourself having better exercise tolerance, able to actually do more 
without feeling as winded. Now, as we progress into the 60 to 90 day mark, this is where we see more significant improvements in arterial health. Your blood pressure often begins to normalize during this period and blood work typically shows an improved lipid profile. One of the most remarkable changes patients report is their increased stamina, activities that once left you tired and feel manageable, even easy. So the six months milestone is where we see the most dramatic transformations. This is when major arterial remodeling occurs. We're talking about fundamental changes in your cardiovascular system. Blood flow reaches optimal levels and we typically see a measurable reduction in plaque burden. Report feeling like they've turned back the clock on their cardiovascular health, experiencing enhanced overall vitality and well-being. Now, let's address something equally important, safety considerations. While this protocol is powerful, it requires proper medical supervision. You will need regular checkups and blood work monitoring to ensure everything is progressing safely. If you're on medications, these may need adjustment as your body responds to the protocol. This is why professional oversight is essential. It's crucial to be aware of warning signs that require immediate attention. Never ignore chest pain, uh, sudden shortness of breath, unusual fatigue, or rapid changes in blood pressure. These symptoms need immediate medical evaluation, even if they seem minor. We also need to consider specific contradictions. Certain medications may interact with components of the protocol and various medical conditions might require modifications to our approach. So timing considerations are crucial. Some supplements need to be spaced apart from medications and individual variations mean we might need to adjust the protocol to your specific situation. This is why we start gradually and monitor closely. Your safety is paramount as we work towards optimal arterial health. So remember, atherosclerosis isn't a sentence. It's a condition you can actively improve. This protocol addresses the root cause, not just the symptoms. Subscribe for more detailed protocols and leave a comment about what aspects you'd like me to cover in future videos. Next week, I'll show you how to enhance these results with specific biohacking techniques. So do hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss it.